Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing an all signs reading for you, tuning into the day's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. So let's dive right in. Starting in the past with the Six of Cups in reverse, it looks like looks like in the past you were working on um, some type of wounding from your childhood, something that stopped you from being able to emotionally mature. Feels like I'm talking with someone who had arrested development because of um feels like the your parents were emotionally immature as well and they didn't know how to work with emotions feels like they had very uh specific beliefs around what love is and it feels like they were very judgy about emotions that some emotions uh make you good and some emotions make you bad and so it feels very confusing and hard to operate in life. It feels like emotions uh, would get the best of you. It feels like people uh, manipulated you through your emotions. Holy cow. So, much, so many messages from one card. It feels like even despite the, this emotional hardship that you... Uh, in the past would show up very loving um, despite <laughs> uh, the emotional difficulties and the treatment in the past. It looks like during this period of time that I'm tuning into in the past, it feels like there's a lack of passion, a lack of desire. It feels like you're not interested in your life. You're not really showing up. Um, it feels like it's showing up as exhaustion because uh, it looks like you chose to repeat a cycle to stay in an environment that was not... Uh, loving that you weren't excited to be there it feels like you were just um getting through something maybe you were um feels like you were trying to finish something maybe uh, finish school or finish uh raising your kids something like that before you would take a leap of faith away from this toxic environment there was something, it feels like at some point you chose, even though you knew you were unhappy, exhausted, it feels like you chose to stay in it to get um, to some type of finish line, something you felt like you needed to stay in this environment and finish something. So it could, I don't know what that is for you. Finish raising kids finish school, finish a job. Um, it looks like it looks like the people around you in the past were emotionally shallow, very shallow, unapologetic. They care a great deal about their own emotions and that's the that's it. They it feels like um the people in the environment in your past were um didn't care for you didn't care if your feelings were hurt they lacked that ability to care your emotions your hurt feelings just uh it feels like they invalidated that doesn't matter um that something is wrong with you that you're having this response. It feels like that, like people gaslighting you, um, being very um, cavalier with your heart. And it feels like they, it just, they don't care. They're shallow. They care about their emotions. Then they're very um, 
but but not yours. It feels like also in the past, the more you started taking these leaps of faith away from toxic connections, um, it feels like you you have this belief in your past. It feels like at some point you really needed help. You really and you you got a front row row seat of who really showed up and how they showed up and who more importantly who didn't show up not as a way so you can make them a bad person but just so you can be clear about who cares and who does not care feels like uh, um, a rude awakening in the past as you started uh, separating from these energies wow all right, in present energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is working. Work, 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 work. There's something that you've mastered, something that um, you've put a lot of time and energy into. And it looks like, what is this? It's some some obstacle in regards to your work that's hard to overcome. Ooh, interesting. There's a challenge around your work. There's something that you're needing to learn, something that's uh, it's it's what is this? There's something in regards to your work. You're very skilled at what you do, but there's something around work that you are having difficulty overcoming. And there's some type of lesson that you need to learn in regards to this. And it's about walking away from um, what's not for you. Some type of emotional attachment in regards to work and it feels like this is something you've been working on most of your life feels like you stay in spaces that are very uncomfortable for too long for past their expiration date and that's the message i got in the first uh card was in the past that you were staying, you made a decision to stay someplace with people that you weren't excited about. You weren't, you didn't like these people or there was a lack of love, but for some reason you felt obligated to stay in that situation. And so now we're looking at that same type of energy, staying too long, maybe at a job, staying too long it's pentacles so it feels like it's around your work something about your work isn't moving forward and it feels like you're afraid to take a um, that same leap of faith you're afraid of financial woes of walking away from something or making a shift so what I'm getting, wow, what I'm getting is it's um, you don't lack trust that it's just what you're trusting in is that things won't go your way. <laughs> you don't, uh, it feels like you've had a lot of uh, difficulty through your life, challenges. And so some of you might just be assuming that everything is a challenge, kind of seeing things in a pes pessimistic view, trusting that things won't work out, but it feels like um, there's worry about not having enough I'm worried about if I walk away from this that I can't create what I want.
but that's it looks like um boy eight of pentacles came out again it does feel like you've been working since you were a child on on um believing that you're worthy believing of your value that you can uh, have your soul fulfillment it feels like some of you are shifting from jobs that you are not interested in you don't like it but it's hard to walk away from because of the paycheck or something and you don't believe that um what you really want what you really want to do that's nine of cups and soul fulfilling for you there's a, a belief that that can't sustain you and there's a lot of confusion around work right now around what you should do with the moon card a lot of confusion feels like you're trying to figure out what your next steps are feels like you're trying to make a decision when the decision it's not time to make a decision you know when it's time to make a decision when the decision comes in and you're like oh i know what to do it feels like um you have might have a habit of overthinking and trying to find the decision before it's time to make a decision um that might be a habit of trying to comfort yourself um it's an feels like anxiety and it feels like um a lot of uh emotions something something's hidden it feels like a timing thing that we're waiting for and so you might feel in your energy that something is going to shift in regards to work but you don't know what that is and you're trying to get ahead of it, but it's not something to get ahead of. It's just something is shifting. And it looks like where you're moving towards is something much more soul fulfilling, leaving behind something um, that was more maybe traditional and leaving. And it feels like you might, um, be in me be dependent on a company or something here and it feels like what you're clearing up is it feels like going in a different direction something more non-traditional something new something unique new age new way of doing business and it, you might be uh going at it alone maybe this is uh boy this feels so specific <laughs> feels like you might be going off and and doing something uh different feels like in the corporation or the work that you're doing right now not only is it uh, it feels like there's not a room for expansion for you to learn anything new so it feels stagnant like you don't get to learn exciting new ways of of showing up it's very interesting messages let's move on and see what else comes through all right and what's hidden is the queen of wands in reverse this is um Okay. It feels like some of you have been tolerating not enjoying not being able to show up as your usual happy self because it feels like you're you've got a j-o-b and you're at work and 
you're not enjoying life. It feels like um, a lack of energy, a lack of interest. Uh, it feels like it's very hard to get your needs met. Uh, you're not excited about life. It feels like... Um, it feels like uh, all the the passion, the enjoyment has just uh, um, dimmed your light in a way so slowly over time that there's just very little enjoyment, uh, lack of desire in your life. And what's hidden is it looks like you're having a new beginning from that lack of desire, lack of passion, Nothing is enticing you. There's nothing um, feels um, a lack of fire, uh, kind of watered down energy, no movement, no fire, no passion. It looks like what's hidden is that you're, bre you're having a new beginning, a new you. You're turning that around, you're moving to calmer grounds, you're cutting off what no longer serves you in a very empowering way. Feels like you're leaving that version of you behind, the version of you that um, who's exhausted, who doesn't know how to get their needs met, who has no desire, no energy. It, there is like an energetic, on an energetic level, it feels like in the past, there's been so much exhaustion uh, clocking in instead of um, living. feels like you got caught up in the belief that your value comes from being a consumer of, of working, of benefiting others and working for others t for them to get what they want instead of working for what you want to achieve now we're getting back it looks like you have something you want to personally achieve in this lifetime and there's something about you're willing to work and put in the work there's something that you've mastered i don't know if you recognize your own value either and and maybe you don't realize that you can go on your own you can find something that's much more of a soul fulfillment that's also beneficial that's much more beneficial because you are happy to be there you are joyful it doesn't feel like a job it doesn't feel like work it it is an extension of who you are it's an expression of who you are what you do and when your work becomes that and it's um heart-centered work then you you aren't exhausted and depleted constantly by it you are refreshed by what you do and you're excited to grow and create more that's, it feels like a, a big shift in, um, in your business, in your pentacles. The advice is the five of pentacles. Worry about finances, about not having enough, not being enough. I get the, the feeling that the worry is keeping this person's head down not really allowing the worry about rejection, the worry about not enough, the worry is keeping them uh, blinded. And what this person doesn't see because they're in there uh, overwhelmed in not seeing that there's a key and that key can unlock the door to their abundance. But they're, they're too much in their... Uh, woundedness in their rejection in their abandonment wound to see that there's an answer right here it's 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 a perfect fit the key fits it's um helps you it looks like right now you are in your head over thinky thinking so much so it might be hard for you to sleep allowing your worries to have center stage. It feels like you've been in a nightmare situation. This person uh, wakes up from a nightmare 
and is still in a nightmare, a waking nightmare, but they've got the comfort of the bed and the sheet. And it feels like it's not uncomfortable enough that this person is ready to make changes. It's a nightmare, but if we have one more sword, then it would, there would be no um, comfort left. So it feels like for a long time, you've been in a nightmare scenario in regards to your finances and regards to work. And it looks like you're ready to free yourself. Oh my gosh, beautiful full circle message with the Six of Cups coming out upright. It looks like you, you're getting a different perspective of those cups. You're seeing that there's lots of love and that you can you have access to love and care that you can care for yourself as an act of love and with the sunlight a lot of clarity coming in a lot of joy a lot of happiness it feels like you you are healing some childhood wounds and it feels like your inner child is coming out to play that to work you had to kind of like leave the kids at home leave your inner child there's something about the work that you are transitioning away from that does not allow your inner child to come and play and there's something about feeling more whole and complete and joyful that work doesn't have to be J-O-B, that it can actually be something that's fulfilling, that you enjoy, that is something personally wonderful for you and an uh, act of service for others. Very Aquarian energy here. Really beautiful. Wow. Can't wait to hear if this resonates for any of you and how it does. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much for co-creating this reading with with me. Take care.